South Carolina law requires animal-drawn vehicles to be equipped with a white light visible from 500 feet away to the front and a red light or reflector visible from the same distance to the rear. But that's only from, quote, a half hour after sunset to a half hour before sunrise. Highway Patrol says Thursday's wreck happened just outside that time frame, so no one was at fault. However, the founder of the Barnabas Horse Foundation for Children says equestrians have to be extra careful on local roads. As Horry County has evolved and gotten more crowded, we have seen an increase in this happening. Um, horseback riders have less places to ride than we did for those of us who grew up riding in pretty much anywhere we wanted to here. McKinney says on rural roads, drivers tend to go faster and seem to be less aware of surroundings than in heavier traffic. So I almost think that the rural highways are more of a danger to equestrians on horseback. No question, Highway 19 is a busy road. Justin Frankenfielder lives just a few houses down from where Thursday's crash happened. It's quite fast. They uh, seem to always pass right in front of my house. They go about 90 miles an hour, and there's quite accidents quite often. McKinney's foundation uses equine therapy to help abused children. She doesn't allow her riders to ride on highways because of the potential for tragedies like what happened on Thursday. It's a sad situation and our prayers are with all of the people involved and very, very sad that this has happened.